everyone here and also everyone around the world with internet connection through FOSS can contribute to some of the world's most important technologies. Like this is huge. You know, if you want to contribute to software of big companies like Google, you first need to, you know, find your way in. Then you need to, um, you know, get through the HR processes and everything else, sign the documents. And only then you will get access to the code base. This immediately, like you get the same access as a long time contributors on the project. Uh, but all that taken into consideration to me, when I need to answer the question of why open source succinctly, like I simply say, it's an amazing tool for self-improvement. And it is said that everyone gets into Bitcoin at the price they deserve. I say that everyone gets into FOSS when their desire to contribute outweighs their desire to acquire should really reflect on that thought and consider it. And when you can truly embrace it, you will know that you're ready because it will also allow you to set the right mindset and step away from spotlight, you know, um, leave the main stage for those that, you know, desire power, desire, desire fame, desire influence, desire maybe money. What is for you is to focus on work. And then when you produce a work that's good, give it away, freely give it away. People may think, you know, that they're scamming you and that you're an idiot, like it happened to me quite a few times. But what I realized throughout my journey is that these people are mostly scamming themselves. They're settling. They're worshiping money. They're, you know, uh, trying to find a situation for them. They don't know what they want. So they use you and your journey as a way to justify what they're doing, you know? And um, it's really important not to let them stop you from following your path. Um, because the more you create and freely give away, the more you will have. Like, trust me on this. And, but you can also verify if you want, you know, like research my journey, what I have done over the last seven years, and then decide for yourself, you know, if I can stand as a proof of what I'm saying. Um, maybe it's also that people will not um, appreciate enough what you're giving. Uh, but this is why open in open source is so vital. Maybe they will not appreciate, but there are other people who, are, who have the same level of access and can see what you're doing. And then they are the ones to ensure that no amount of political maneuvering will be able to uh, take your proof of work away from you. Like your proof of work will always be yours because it's public and available for all to see and verify. It's a beacon that no one through any kind of, again, political maneuverings can smudge and take away. Um, Bitcoin really, to me, beckons you to become the person that you're meant to be. But you can only meet that person if you contribute and freely give. FOSS is the most direct way to that because always remember that without FOSS, there would be no Bitcoin. No one would use Bitcoin if it was some kind of closed source proprietary system. What gives Bitcoin big uh, support and big power is the fact that it's open source and freely available for anyone to verify. Um, there are other ways, sure, you know, but for me, those other ways that are not false ways, they're, they have way more temptations and perils and few people can really stay humble enough and avoid those traps. Because you look over the last decade plus, Bitcoin has empowered so many people, so many companies. You look at Coinbase, you look at FTX, you look at Binance, you look at Lightspark, 
all these companies have received so much from Bitcoin. But how much have they given back? Like, are they really onboarding people onto Bitcoin? Or they're onboarding people to give them their Bitcoin and then they're going to give them, you know, the newest altcoin that's going to moon. So, you know, keep that in mind that these companies and people empowered by Bitcoin are not necessarily giving back. They do not stand at the forefront of adoption. They do not uh, really look how to free people from the chains of fiat and how to contribute back to the technologies they built their businesses on. It always falls onto some uh, altruistic souls in FOSS to you know, solve hard problems. So you might as well embrace it, focus on work that's not necessarily like going to give you directly fame or money right away, but you can do work that's very important and very meaningful. And you, in Bitcoin, you have so many great role models that you can follow. You can just look at what Satoshi did, creating a system and then giving away everything, you know, going into obscurity. You can look at BTC Pay Server and Nicholas Dorier, Emperor Nicholas. You can look at Noster and Fia Jeff. You can look at Ben Ark and Ellen Bits. You can look at... Um, JB55 and Damus. There are so many great uh, like journeys that can inspire your own. And especially now, like it's a great time to start. Uh, we have so many supporters of us. I know OpenSats, HRF, Brink, uh, Spiral. You, you have heard of all these institutions and uh, <laughs> how to say Nonprofits. Have you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ben Price, Steve Lee, Mike Schmidt. Like, there are a lot of people that are contributing to open source through uh, helping contributors do the work and fund it. And I would really encourage you to. Uh, you know, approach those people, connect to them through your local networks. And if you can't connect with them um, directly, like, uh, or you don't have anyone to reach out, feel free to reach out to Uncle Rockstar. I'll be glad to set you up and connect you um, and discuss, yeah, what is it that you want to do. Um, finally, uh, events like this are so important. Um, Marset, Thank you for organizing. Andre, thank you for organizing. Anna, everyone else that's involved. Because these spaces really give us opportunity, you know, to uh, come together, collaborate, wake up a little bit. Like, I know it's early, but we're getting to 10 a.m. And uh, we also have a great panel coming up. One that uh, will not only tell you maybe how to get into FOSS, but how to find your Bitcoin dream job. And I'm really looking forward to that. Um, in conclusion, I would uh, really invite you, first of all, to you know, keep coming back to events like this. Like Bitcoin Atlantis will be amazing. Like, go all out. Do not hold back the ideas that are in your head. Like Mastermind with other people. Collaborate. Uh, use the opportunity that you're surrounded by so many quality individuals that that can help you improve yourself. And uh, after this event, I would maybe recommend the uh, uh, NOS to run conference that we're organizing in August at Baltic Honey Badger. You know, be there. And uh, by then, what is that? Like five months? You have enough time to really build something and then come, you know, present. Uh, uh, make sure it's open source so that you can build up that uh, interest before the conference and then present, announce something great. Um, so yeah, in conclusion, I would just say really try to embrace FOSS as a crucible for your personal growth. It's an immense tool for self-improvement. Again, what it has done for me, it's amazing over the last seven years. Um, 
let also the talks that you will have on this stage inspire you. Again, let your ideas freely flow, uh, uh, you know, around and with other people. Do not hold back. And, you know, let's build the best possible future together. Thank you.